Well, Rose, you said it well. Um, there's not much to add, uh, but uh, this is uh, this is an important enough point that that I feel the need to kind of come out of the woodwork, um, and uh, perhaps add uh, a few uh, a few points of interest um, regarding these issues that you were bringing up. Uh, first, um, well, of course, agreed, 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 agreed. Um, second, uh, importance is, to the best of our knowledge, to the best of our experience, a purely human concept, a purely human um, force, uh, the ability to assign significance. Um, hierarchy of significance in particular is something that as best as we can tell as best as we can tell resides purely within the human realm so when we talk about things being important we are fun uh, we are right off the bat purely speaking of human things or purely speaking of things as they correlate to the human being. Um, now this is not this is not um, anthropocentric. Um, this is uh, an anthropocentrism. The, the the notion of man at the center um, is ironically, uh, in and of itself, a very anthropocentric concept. Um, in that uh, we are the only things, as best as we can tell, that are concerned with where the center lies. Um, stating that uh, humanity is, is uh, the most important thing in the cosmos. Um, well, even raising the question of importance is innately anthropocentric. Um, because we, as, the best as, as best as we can tell, are uh, the only things that are concerned with questions of importance um, is, uh, is my uh, I, I suppose my bumper sticker uh, summary of that is the uh, my my favorite riff on Descartes um, man is the measurer of all things um, or uh, man is the measure of all things because we are the only ones in the business of making meter sticks so uh, yes, when we when we speak of when we speak of importance, we are speaking of things as they correlate to the human being, purely and simply. But even were we to um, even were we to incorporate a uh, a theistic worldview into this discussion, we find that affirmed. We find that affirmed there as well if we follow through on the implications, and and this is. This is one of the reasons why I find some of the behaviors justified in a theistic cons uh, context is so, well, confusing, confounding. Um, because, well, let's let's take the Christian worldview uh, for for a moment. Um, here we have in in this uh, in this description um, the being that is directly, consciously, and intentionally responsible for the existence of everything, um, declaring time and again that they view human life as significant. Taking a look outside of that, um, uh, more the context that we were initially speaking in, wherein this being is not present, this being um, uh, there, there is no, uh, there, there is no design or, or what have you, and again we find that human life is significant because it is only in its correlation to human life that we consider things significant. Either way, either way, that first person perspective that you speak of is the is the golden standard for meaning is the golden standard for importance. But going, going a little bit further, and you, you mentioned uh, you're talking about empathy, and uh, it's no shock that I would want to jump on that. 
um, uh, with uh, not not jump on it as as a uh, as, as a footballer, <laughs> as, uh, not not tackle you, but more um, uh, throw an arm around your shoulder and raise a glass and say, "Here, here." Um, People, people have uh, been giving, uh, have given me something of a ribbing on my um, my uh, uh, mantra of empathy, 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 um, because it is it is through this ability to extend um, either imaginatively, intuitively, or innately um, our framework of experience to the other conscious being. That well, uh, first, as as I've rattled on before, I, I view it as a fundamental operation to our cognition, something um, so um, so central that we're um, even at a loss to recognize its position. It's it is it is that uh, uh, that core um, that core of perception. Um, uh, from which all other perception emanates, uh, the the uh, the unseen eye, or or what have you, um, the eye that does not see itself but sees all else. Um, and, uh, empathy uh, has has that central, that pivotal role in human consciousness and human experience. Um, but more, it is also that wherein we can extend our framework of experience outside of our own skulls. Um, empathy is that which keeps us from being solipsists. Empathy is that which uh, empathy is that which uh, takes us beyond um, that that nightmarish scenario of purely interacting with our own imaginations. Um, so uh, Yes, and more, and more. Um, of course our actions have significance. Because again, significance, uh, significance is purely derived from the way that it impacts human life. And again, significance um, both in how it impacts us and in how it impacts another. But this, in the course of this perpetual influencing, communication, um, shared imagination, shared expression, um, we have, even were we to look at the cosmos and say there is no immaterial existence, there is nothing that is not um, that is not some uh, arrangement of uh, physical relationships, motions, and forces. Um, even were we to say that, we would have to concede that at some point in the history of our species, however localized this phenomenon, there has come into being, there has come into existence, um, a, a reality, a force, a factor, a um, what have you, that is not um, that is not purely the product of this uh, this um, Newton's cradle of the cosmos, um, and that is these expressions, this context of thought, of communication, of being, of interpretation, um, this uh, the the conceptual world of which we are dual residents. Um, and in that, and given that our existence in this context is of is every bit as insistent on our experience as the physical world, as the world of these physical forces, motions, relationships, then we must consider the state of that world of importance as well we must consider the state of that context as well. And that's where I would take this thing that this, this, uh, this impact of an action that you were talking about, the kind action that never leaves a person, and the cruel action that never leaves a person. It never leaves them, but it does not end with them. 
whether kind or cruel. My action on an individual